and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video that a lot of you guys have asked me about in the past on Snapchat. Snapchat only lasts 24 hours so sometimes you guys miss these things and it is how to get the wax out of the bottom of your Yankee candle and you can reuse it for loads of different things which I will show you in another video. Little disclaimer, be very careful when you are doing this tutorial. I don't want people getting burns or anything like that and just just be savvy. Be, be careful. So for now, let's get into the little tutorial. It's very quick and very easy. So we have our candle here. If you have any black kind of soot around the edge of the candle I recommend you wash it out so as you can see there is a hell of a lot of wax in there but it is burnt down to the bottom I cannot burn it anymore we need to get the rest of this wax out now obviously if you don't care you can throw this out as it is but I love the smell of this candle and it's really easy to reuse it the candle on the Yankee candles is quite thick I mean the actual glass but if you want to reinforce it you can put a towel or something around it just to reinforce it or you can add more tin foil around it just to disperse the heat out of it. But I just leave it as it is. I find that these candles are amazingly strong, the glass, and it is safe enough to pour your boiling water in. Do not do this if you are without supervision of a parent because you're messing with the boiling water and you could burn your fingers and we don't want that. So I have boiled my kettle in the background. It's been boiling for a little while and I'm just leaving it to cool down just for like two to five minutes before pouring in the water. Again, careful when you do this because you don't want to burn your fingers. So we're just pouring in the boiling water and you can see it's steaming up the candle and you don't want to bring it any further than the rim right there. So you can see where I have left the hot water. It's just right at the rim. If you bring it up any further, then you might have wax spilling out. And if you leave it in any further down below here, then you will not be able to take the candle wax out once it has dried. So you can see what's happening now. We have like a little bubble effect. So you can see it's like a lava lamp. All of the wax is melting. It's so fun to watch. So just leave it there for a few hours till it all melts away. We'll come back in about an hour and a half to two hours by the time the boiling water has cooled down and you'll be able to lift out your wax which will have dried. You can see all the wax at the top. Okay guys it's been like two minutes but you can see what's actually happening here is the wax is lifted off the bottom and it has risen to the top. This wax up here is not melted it is not solidified so it's going to be very difficult to pull it out because it's solid so you want to wait for a little while longer until the boiling water kind of does its thing. And also for those of you who are wondering about this part of the candle, I don't know what this is, it's what holds the wick in place. This usually becomes separated from the wax. Okay, I am back and it's only been 15 minutes and you can see that the wax is pretty much kind of melted up at the top. I am not going to remove it yet because that water is still quite warm. Okay, so I am back now and it has been two hours and this is pretty solidified up here so to get it out because if you leave it any longer than this it's gonna get really hard to actually take out so to get it out you want to push down with your knuckles and that should loosen it all up and because there's water in there it should kind of loosen it up be careful that you don't get any splash back you will probably get a little bit but keep kind of kneading it down until it eventually loosens up and you can see that there it just loosened up because there's warm water in this it is keeping this slightly soft so you should be able to pull it out if you leave it any longer than two hours it will solidify so we got to pull this out and you can see the warm water is left in there there is nothing else in there only the bottom of where the wick was and you now have your solidified wax you can do whatever you want with this wax so you can leave it as is place it into a candle burner and it will burn down this is really strong scented as well so it's going to smell up the whole room all lovely or you can melt it down in in a pot and apply it into a little jar with a little wick in it and make a new candle. There is a hell of a lot of wax there. What a waste if you threw it in the bin because you can do other things with this. And with the Yankee jar or whatever candle jar you have, you can clean it all out or you can do it up 
maybe hold some brushes in it. You can do whatever you want with this. I have a lot of these Yankee Candle jars, so I'm going to recycle this one because I do not need any more. But you can do so much with this, especially at Christmas time. It might be really nice to maybe put a ribbon around it, maybe some sand in the bottom and another little tea light candle in it. it. Might just look really pretty in your room. Also another idea is if you want to put some PVA glue maybe on the inside and some glitter, I can make it like a glitter jar. So guys, I hope that helped. I hope you found some techniques to reuse the wax because who wants to throw out all wax? It's good, it's good, it can still use it for still. The other way that you can do it is you can put your Yankee Candle into a pot as well and pour the boiling water in on top of it so that way if there is any breakages that it's breaking in the pot and not all over your worktop but I have never ever ever had it break on me. Doesn't mean it couldn't happen just be careful when you are doing it. So guys thank you very much for watching this. Please thumbs it up if you like this type of video and I will talk to y'all very soon. Mwah. Bye!